So today we're going to go over how to defrost a Samsung fridge. I have a fridge here that every few months it uh, gets real warm and if you zoom in here you can kind of see it's set at 37 degrees but it's 56 degrees in here. Um, I already emptied everything out and again we have to do it every couple months and the problem that we run into is back here where the coils and stuff are. It gets all frozen and then the fan gets frozen and can't spin anymore so then we go through and have to uh, defrost it out. Um, I don't know if you, how well you can see, but back in here, there's some ice buildup, uh, so I know it's just it's just an ice issue. So after everything's taken out of the fridge, you know we'll take out these racks here. You know they just slide out. So I'm gonna take all those out, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so we got all the shelves out. Um, it's also a good time to wipe everything down. You end up with getting crumbs and all kinds of stuff that uh, come out of here. So the first step, though. No. We're going to take off these light covers. Um, I just use a screwdriver. I've done it enough times here where it just seems like the easiest way. I'm okay with, you know, um, scratching them up a little bit. So, most of those sides will pop out. Put them off to the side. And the reason is because there's a screw back here. So, there's, I believe, six screws all together. There's one here, one here, one here. One over here, and then one down here, and one on the other side. Uh, so they all take a Phillips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take those out now. Um, take them all out. So you'll have six. Uh, if you have any ice buildup on there, you can use a uh, hair dryer or something to start defro defrosting them out. But they come out pretty easy. Um, I've done this so many times, I actually don't even have screws in this one or this one anymore because those that's usually where it freezes up and uh, I got tired of fighting with it. So I just put the four in. So I'm gonna take out the other three um, and then you would do those two as well. And then we'll take this cover off. All right, so all the screws are out and I went ahead and unplugged it at this point. Uh, so now we just need to work this thing off. Um, depending on how frozen it is, uh, and if it's your first time, it doesn't hurt to take a hairdryer, just kind of go around and start defrosting stuff uh, all around the edges, especially if you notice that you had ice in, in these holes here. Um, but once that happens, it you just kind of kind of start working on it. So I'm gonna grab up here, and start giving it a little shake. Same thing over here. Start working it a little bit till you hear it break loose. Now I wouldn't go and just start bending and pulling as hard as you can because you'll you'll definitely break something. Uh, so with that pulled off, you can look in here and you can see all the ice. So we're definitely just ice jammed up. So to get the rest of this panel off though, we have these clips right here. So you just push it down on the side, you give it a pull, and it'll come right out. So there's that side and there's your panel. So one of the issues with the panel too is that you get ice built up all around here and in this fan so you can't even turn the fan because it's frozen well that one actually turned a little bit but you can see the ice down here is starting to hit that fan and it prevents that from turning um, at full speed and circulating the air throughout because the air the fan pushes it it comes up through this top part into here and it comes out these spots here which keeps your fridge nice and cool most of the time unless you're all iced up and jammed up all right so i took that main piece that we took off that had the fan i put it in my laundry tub to kind of sit there and start thawing out uh, so but first now we're going to work on just defrosting this um, with the fridge unplugged you don't have to worry about it icing up or anything we just got to clean it um, get all the ice off of there and so all i use is my wife's hair dryer um, put it on high and just start working on it I'll usually take the screwdriver and kind of poke it and try and break the ice and stuff. Um, but be careful around the fins. These will bend easily. You want to keep those uh, looking good. Uh, so it's a fairly tedious, not overly fun, fun task. Just kind of sitting here defrosting it. So I'm going to work on that and get it fully defrosted. Okay, so I've been working on it for about five, ten minutes, uh, probably closer to ten minutes. And got that off if you can get it in the big chunks that's kind of nice um, i always also put down a towel because uh you know as that ice is draining it's gonna it's gonna splatter and kind of make a mess so with this being kind of all all cleaned up um, i'm gonna go work on that uh 
on the panel part of this and get the uh, ice in the fan all cleared up. All right, so I'm in my laundry room. I got the cover piece. And uh, usually I take this whole thing off so that you can get in there and make sure you get all the ice and stuff. Uh, so there's four screws that hold that on. This one here, 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 and one under this ice here. So now I'm going to use the hairdryer and get that ice off and take off those four screws. That ice is off. I got all four screws out and then this piece just lifts up. And turn it over and you can see where that ice is forming. So that's what's keeping, like right now, I've had it where this is all just caked in here and the fan won't turn at all. Uh, but on this one, it wasn't quite to that point yet. But if you hold that ice and you start turning this, you can hear that fan hitting it. And so it just wasn't turning at max capacity. So uh, using the trusty old hair dryer, well, don't even need to on this one. So there's our chunk of ice. Take that off, give that a good spin. It's working great. You know, kind of take a look at it, make sure there's no other ice or anything jamming up in there. We'll see any, so we'll put that back on. We'll get our four screws back on. Remember, one, two, three, four, and then we'll get this put back into the, right, we're back at the fridge. Uh, this thing here, I just kind of set it to rest on the bottom there, uh, just to kind of get it up here. So the first thing is to plug in our connectors here. Um, you can't plug the wrong one into the wrong spot. It just won't fit. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. There's two of them. Connect those in, and then this panel, when you start on that side, just kind of pushes right into place. You know, no big deal. And so we'll put those screws back in. Uh, like I said, I do this one, this one, and the bottom ones. I don't even put these in anymore because I have to do this every couple months. So why well, give myself more work? Uh, so we'll get those uh, screws in, and then we'll get these covers back on. All right, so we got the screws in. Uh, so now we just have these guys here to put in. And they basically just click on the back. I'm sorry, they click on in here and then just push into place. And just do both of those. Uh, then I usually take this opportunity to uh, get some cleaner and wipe everything out. Um, and then we'll plug it back in. And while it's cooling off, I'll uh, put the shelves, you know, clean the shelves out and then we'll get those back. Plug back in. We're going to let this cool. Uh, if we come over to our temperature thing, you see it's 61 degrees in there. Uh, so if you want it to go a little bit faster, over here, there's a button fridge. Hold three seconds for power cool. So I will usually do that. That little guy comes on and that will just uh, cool it a little faster. It'll take... I don't know, a half hour to an hour to get down to temperature and then you can start putting all your stuff back in there and hopefully you're not like me and have an issue every several months but uh, it's november so i fully anticipate being back in there in february to uh, thaw that thing back out um so if you have any questions comments uh ideas on how to fix this permanently uh, please leave them in the comments otherwise hit subscribe and we'll see you later